In today's video, we're gonna talk about metal roof deck. We'll talk about the uses, types, gauges, and finishes. I'm Paul Rubio, and welcome to the Metal Deck Learning Channel. If you have a job that has metal decking and you need it quickly, metaldeck.com has you covered. We have a large inventory of roof and floor deck in multiple sizes and gauges. With facilities located in Southern California and Phoenix, Arizona, you can get same day or next day delivery or pickup. Decking today, no delay at metaldeck.com. What is metal roof decking? Non-composite metal roof decking isn't intended for concrete. It's a smooth panel with no embossments. It's a structural roof deck that provides both diaphragm, shear, and vertical load capacity. Uses of metal decking. The primary use of a metal roof deck is this will be used in a commercial building, and you'll, you'll set this down over your steel I-beams, and then on top of this, you'll put a rigid board insulation, and then on top of the rigid board insulation, you'll put a built-up roof. Types of metal roof deck. There's generally two types of metal roof decking, and that's determined by the depth of the panel. So over here, we have an inch and a half B deck, and here we have a three inch deep N deck. Now, depending upon where you live in your region, you might have different trade names for these panels, but generally, the two things you'll see is it's either inch and a half deep or three inch deep. Now, the reason you would use a three inch deep deck versus an inch and a half deck is the deeper the panel, the stronger the panel, and the further it can span. However, the deeper the panel, the more money the panel is going to cost. Another difference that you'll see between an inch and a half and a three inch deck is a, a inch and a half deck, such as B deck, is going to be 36 inches wide. And, and that'll be the same no matter where you live. Whereas a three inch deck, this one here is 24 inches, so it's called an end deck. They do make a 32 inch version of this, but either way, a three inch deck is always gonna be narrower than an inch and a half deck, which also means you'll have more panels to install. Most metal roof decks will have what they call a male-female button punch side lap, meaning the female leg will just attach on top of the male leg. So even though these panels aren't the same, they do have the same side lap, and you can see that the, the female leg just simply nests over the male leg. The purpose of the side lap is that once they're nested together, you can then take what they call a button punch tool and it, it fastens them together and that increases the strength of the panel. The other type of side lap that you'll see, and you won't see it often, but it's called a stitch screw side lap. And what they do is they take this female side lap and they extend it. They, they, there's a little leg that's gonna come out from here. And on the male side lap, it's actually about half the size. So in other words, they, they decrease this and the metal that's left over is how they come up with the little leg that comes out of here. And the purpose of this is that when you lap these two together, instead of button punching the side lap, you'll put a screw through the end over here. This panel here is called HSB36, and that stands for High Shear B-Decking. Uh, B-Decking is the most common type of metal decking, and what a B-Deck is, is it's an inch and a half metal deck that's smooth. There's no embossments on this, so it's not intended to have concrete poured on it. Uh, B-Decking normally has the male-female button punch side lap. However, it's also available with a stitch screw side lap. The other type of deck is called end deck now, N-Deck will come in more than one different style, but what makes it as an N-Deck is the depth of the panel. It's three inches in depth. Now, depending on where you live, they might call N-Deck something else, but the key thing to realize is it's three inches deep. The main disadvantage of N-Deck is that it's going to cost more than an inch and a half B-Deck, and it's also gonna be narrower. This particular panel is 24 inches wide and they do make them up to 32 inch, but they will always be narrower than a typical 36 inch B deck. The reason you would use an end deck is that it's going to span a lot further than a B decking. End deck is considered a long span roof decking and is typically used for spans that are ranging from 10 feet to 16 feet. End deck is available in two different widths. It's available in a 24 inch or a 32 inch width. 
Sheet lengths and lead times. So jobs that are under 10,000 square feet will typically be available for same day or next day pickup. When you have a job that's over 10,000 square feet, you have two options. Uh, you can get it immediately, or we can custom make it to your sizes. The only disadvantage of custom making it is it's typically a two to four week lead time. Prior to placing an order for metal decking, you must know the specifications of your project, including the following. Type of metal deck, cage, finish, sheet lengths, number of panels needed. Once you have all the information about your project, just give us a call or send us an email and we're happy to send you a free quote. Oh, <laughs>